Hey friends, I just finished my leg day workout, leg day. Uh, I get a lot of questions actually about my legs, so I figured I'd just compile a bunch of videos for you guys with my favorite leg exercises or my tips and tricks to get some strong legs. <laughs> if you guys want some strong legs, you should probably watch this video. My name is Gia, and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. <laughs> So guys, I always start my workouts by pulling up my Strong app. It just helps me keep track of all my exercises, my lifts that I've done in the past, so I can always make sure to lift heavier and do more total volume than I did before. This is just one of my previous leg days. To get started, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I am all about the activation, especially for muscles that have a harder time getting the blood flow in them, including the gluteus. Um, this is me using my Fit Girl band. I like it because the resistance is super crazy. Here I'm just starting out with some air squats with the resistance bands above my knees. As I'm pushing up, guys, I'm focusing on squeezing my glutes. And here's the side angle. Straight back and straight. Or Next you see me kicking to the side as well as to the back and doing some standing clamshells. You guys can also do clamshells laying on your side, um, but if you're doing it standing, make sure to stick your bum backwards and really drive your knees outward. You should feel your glutes burning. Now for the actual lifting itself, when I start my exercises, I always start with the heaviest workouts first because that's going to be the most energy consuming. But that doesn't mean that my first squat is going to be my heaviest squat. In fact, I'll do warm-up sets. So I'll start with the bar, 45 pounds for a set, 5 reps, and then I'll bring it up to 60 pounds total. And then I'll bring it up to 90 pounds and then I do my proper lifts. Here's me doing a squat. I do use my uh, lifting belt. That one's Harbinger because it's vegan. And I make sure that I am really focusing on bracing my gut. And I purposely don't look at the mirror so I can just focus on my mind muscle connection. And if you guys want to know why I grip the bar the way that I do, I have a video on it. I'll link it down below. For those that follow me, you guys know that I cannot work out without my clips because they make my life easier, especially with carpal tunnel. I can't use those metal clips that they have at the gyms. I got these off of Amazon for like maybe nine bucks or so. I'll link it down below. They're seriously life changers. When it comes to removing the plate from the bar, guys, I see people struggling with this a lot. What I do is I stand right above the plate, lift it ever so slightly and pull it forward, step back to the plate and lift it off again until it's totally off the bar. Right after my squats, I go to deadlifts to work the opposing muscles, my hamstrings. You guys see that I walk up straight to the bar, put my feet underneath it. I do use grips to help out because my carpal tunnel makes it hard for me to sometimes to grip. I have my weight belt on to help give that extra support for my core. And the thing that you guys want to think about with deadlifts and with most exercises really is that you have to push with your entire foot. I see some people ending up on the balls of their feet. Really focus on using your entire foot. When I extend upward, guys, I am squeezing my glutes. My gut is extended outward to make sure that my core is fully supported. I am not locking my knees in, and I'm making sure that I'm going in a good, slow enough tempo. Another exercise that I love is the leg press with the plates. I like this more so than the machine because I can go deeper in the press and I can just go heavier. The reason I have my hand behind my head, guys, is just it helps remind myself to keep my back pressed against the back of the seat. If your butt and if your hips are lifting off of that seat, that means you're probably going too heavy. The stance that I'm using here is a wider stance. You guys can do a more narrow stance to put more focus on your quads. I want to show you my feet, guys, just showing that I'm fully engaging my entire foot and pressing with my entire foot. And by the way, guys, when you're on the leg press, don't be shy about 
slowly getting in and slowly getting back out. It's easy for people to trip over if they don't be careful. If for some reason the leg press with the plates is unavailable, I will hit the machine. The same concepts apply. Push with your entire foot. Keep your back against the back of the seat and go in a slow and controlled motion. So this exercise is one that's actually really awkward for me to do at the gym. I only do this when there's barely any people there. Uh, but this is a reverse hack squat. But the reason I like this, guys, is because it really forces your glutes to be activated, pushing your glutes backwards. The way that I got into my machine, guys, is slowly. First, you make sure that your feet are properly placed. I am using a wide stance towards the bottom of the footing. And I put the shoulder rests, my shoulders at their edge of the shoulder rest, and the tip of my forehead is on the headrest. The next exercise here, guys, is hamstring curl on the machine. You see that my knee is positioned by the pin that I pointed at, and the pad is right behind my ankles because it will raise up as I curl down. The pad that I'm putting on my thighs helps keep me in place and keep me from lifting off of the seat. Just like everything else, I have a very controlled motion. And if I'm lucky, I can end the day with the abductor machine. I say lucky because usually it's taken. The abductor machine, guys, is the one where your legs are inside and the pads are outside. And you're pushing the pads outside because it's working your glute muscles. If the pads are inside and you're pushing inward, then you're working your inner thighs. At the bottom of the seat, guys, you'll normally see a pin that allows you to adjust the positioning of your pads. When it comes to the abductors, I start with the pads as close as possible to each other so that I have more time under tension, push my knees outward. I'm walking around Kohl's right now because did you know Amazon lets you return your stuff at Kohl's and you don't have to print anything? That's kind of amazing. Um, anyways, if you guys have questions, you know, put it down there in the comment section. If you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. Ding, 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 ding. Hit that notification bell if you want to know every time this baby gorilla posts a video. If you want to know when, this, every time this baby gorilla posts a video. Alright guys, have a great day. See ya.